Okay, we got this GE fan back together again. We sent it out and had the stator rewound. And you can see it's a brand new stator coil. Uh, totally, it was totally rewound and uh, reassembled it and hooked up the cable and uh, worked on the speed control, got that back going, connected the head wire, um, and it's, did some testing on it. And uh, if I turn it on, it's okay. I'm on 75 volts. It should be enough to kick it off. But it's not. So I'm going to go with the jump. Um, okay. So now I'm at a, let's get it to what its operating voltage is. It's supposed to be 110 volts. Yeah, 110 volts. Okay. And if we turn it on, starts up. Makes a little bit of rattle, but you know, it gets going and then it runs pretty good. And at 110, it's drawing 0.61 amps. So it's doing fine. And as I bring the speed down, that's high. This is medium. You see it drops to 0.56 amps. And on low, it drops to 0.49 amps. So 0.49 amps, 0.56 amps, and 0.65 amps, roughly, or 0.61, that's even better. So it's running really efficient at 110 volts. And if I bring it up to mains of today, 120, right about there, it's still running fine. Now, let's see, let me bring it back up to 120. Okay, at 120, it's drawing 0.67 amps. So that's not bad, that's on high. So the fan's ready to go. It does have some wear. I mean, it's an old fan. It's dated in 1895. So sometimes um, when you first use it, when you first turn it on, it, it may be sluggish, especially um, when it's laying down. When I had it laying down and I stand it up, lay it down to put the base on and work on the bottom, and I turn it on, it won't run. I'd have to give it a little start but that's because it was laying down. Like, see, it's off now. It's been off for a little while. So if we give it some power, it starts right up. And and it continues to, it seems to continue to do that. I've been turning it on, turning it off, turning it on, turning it off. It's just when it's been laying on its side, um, the rotor in the bushings, it's just, you know, it's it's a heavy, heavy motor with a very heavy rotor. And it just gets to a point where the rotor doesn't want to turn. Um, but, like I said, after you give it a spin the first time, it runs fine every time. So, and if it stays standing up, it'd probably be fine because the motor set, situates itself, the armature situates itself in the stator, you know, and I got new oil. I just oiled it. It's got new oilers in it, new wicks. Now it could be that this isn't bad. It's only got an eighth of an inch play, so it shouldn't be that. But if I push it back, it still starts right up. Let's try pulling it forward when it stops. I think it's only when I lay it on its side, it does something to the springs on the centrifugal force where they probably don't make really good contact right away. Okay, that's all the way forward. 
Fine. So it's ready to go back to its owner. And uh, it's been a fun motor to work on, that centrifugal force. Uh, uh, centrifuge, rather, uh, in the back is really cool, the way they first designed these motors. Um, it has an, a start coil, which was also rewound. And let's see if you can see it right here. This first uh, one that spans these two holes there, the narrow coil, that's the start coil that goes around the inside. And then the main coil is that big one that goes around the outside. And so that's totally been replaced and um, taken care of there. Um, and the fan, it runs great. And, you know, it has a tilting control here where you can loosen this and tilt it up and down. It doesn't oscillate. It's not an oscillating fan. It's a heavy, heavy desktop fan. Um, it was made probably, I don't even think they had oscillating fans at the time this thing was made. Um, it's got a nice cord on it. Um, I didn't uh, replace the cord. It's a new cord that was put on and it's 18 gauge. What I did do, uh, there's no way to really ground this one. It's, it's, it would just... It's got too many grounds inside on the centrifugal force, so you can't ground it to the chassis. But what I did do is, this has got a good insulator on it here, the speed control lever. So I ran the hot there, and I ran the neutral directly to the motor. And that way, when it's off, like it is now, there's no power going up into the motor at all. The motor, the hot line is dead right here. So the motor is, totally the whole unit is totally disconnected from the power line because the only thing connected is neutral which is ground so there's no current flow right the, the heart is where the current comes from on your circuit panel box um so good fan for you how that tilts it tilts a pretty good amount so you could put it down low and have it shooting up or you could put it up high and it drops about i'd say about seven or eight degrees down from center but it, and it goes up a good uh 30 degrees from center so yeah it's a good fan i love the brass and the original paint it's all original paint on there uh it's, it is you know, nicked and scraped in little spots, but that gives it character. It's a beautiful fan. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found this series uh, informative and uh, want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And I appreciate you watching it. Please consider giving me a thumbs up. And have a great day. Thank you.